Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. We are at the Toronto Zoo today. I've got the Nikon 200 to 500 millimeter VR with me, as well as the Nikon Coolpix P900 Ultra Zoom, the 2000 millimeter. In the background there, oh, turning the wrong way, right there, you can just see behind me there the uh, panda. One of the pandas is out here at the zoo. So I'm going to do some shots at 200, 300, 400, and 500 with the 200 to 500 millimeter just to show you what it's at. Unfortunately, I think he's sleeping in the background there, so it might not be all that interesting a photo. So here's the panda shots. Rather unspectacular. He kept his backside to us, but this is it at 200 millimeters. Here at 300, 400, and 500 millimeters. Behind me here, we got some type of antlered elk or some type of deer or something. I don't have a sign right handy to see what it is. But we're going to take some shots with the 200 to 500, and uh, we'll show you what it's like again at 200, 300, 400, 500. And we'll, we'll especially want to concentrate on the 500 millimeter end. I got the sun in my eyes, so if I'm squinting, I apologize. Uh, and we'll concentrate on the 500 millimeter end, see how close we can get in. Here we have the Barbary sheep of North Africa. This is a 200 millimeters. Most of these are unedited. A few have done some edits too, but I, mostly I just want to show you um, straight out of camera what the lens is doing. Uh, maybe we'll go back again, pick a few and do some edits to it. But these are right out of camera and they look pretty decent. A lot of these are shot in um, program mode too, just to get quick grab shots. Um, so this is 200 millimeters, 300 millimeters, 500 millimeters. So you can see this is zoomed right out. Here again, we're at 290 millimeters. I did change the white balance on here because the white balance uh, was a little funny straight out of camera. This was as shot. I thought it was a little cool. I guess it's all up to what you like. The uh, The daylight's a little too warm there, but I think it looks a little more pleasing. Um, and here we have 500 millimeters close up on his head. Another 500 millimeter close up there. Very decent image quality here. Very nice, very happy with the image quality. Back to 260, you can see him sharing the feed trough with the geese. 500 again, he's looking back at us from the feed trough. Another at 200 millimeters, we have a couple of the Barbary sheep there. Zoomed in as he's eating out of the feed trough, this is 500 millimeters, nice and sharp, very good performance from the lens. In the background here, you can see the red pandas behind me, over my shoulder there. We're going to see how close we can get in with the long reach on these lenses. So this is at 200 millimeters, the red pandas, f5.6, 1 one hundredth of a second, 1 80th of a second, this is 300 millimeters. We're going to start to see here how uh, good the VR is here because we're hand holding at some slower shutter speeds. Here we've got 400 millimeters. And this is at 1 80th of a second. VR is working very well. It's very sharp. Very nice photo. 500 millimeters. Look at the detail in the face there. That's at 1 80th of a second. Very nice job from the VR. Again at 500 millimeters. Nice and sharp on the face. This is at 1 40th of a second. VR is working very well. Handheld here. We are at 1 80th of a second. 500 millimeters, a 50th of a second, 500 millimeters. I actually can't remember which ones of these I did handheld and which were using the monopod, but um, very nice performance from the lens for sure, especially um, like look at the 500 millimeters, this is the long end, and that face is nice and sharp, no complaints there. Again, 500 millimeters. I've played, as you can see, with the exposure and the contrast here a little bit. Great shot from this lens. Really liking the 200 to 500 millimeter from Nikon. Another at 500 millimeters, 1 40th of a second. Another one at 500. You could see diff just the different facial poses of these two here. And yet again, another at 500 millimeters. And I'm just, look at the detail in the fur and in the face. It's just very, very good performance out of this lens. Behind me here, we've got the Stellar Sea Eagle. And as you can see, I've got the Nikon 200 to 500. I've got the D610 on it right now. Haven't shot with the 55 yet. And uh, we're going to get some shots, though. Let's see how close we can get. We've got some netting, some fencing there we're going to shoot through. We'll see what we can do. Hopefully, we can isolate through the fence. 
So this is the Sea Eagle at 200 millimeters. You can see uh, we're shooting through the fence and we don't have a great focus in this shot on the eagle. It's not bad, the tail feathers are, are quite in focus, but you can see still the, the um, because it's a f5.6, you can still see the, uh, the fence a bit in the shot. Pretty good lock on the eye here, the fence is showing. Um, if we were able to shoot this at 2.8 or something, it would be better. 500 millimeters, this is pretty decent. You can see if I, if I pull the contrast up, you can actually get just as a quick adjust here, you can see that you can get this pretty sharp there on the face. I just pulled the contrast up to 100 and pulled the blacks down, and you can see how well that, that did there. Um, and here's another one at 500, and we can do the same thing here. We can pull the contrast in, pull our blacks and our clarity, and this becomes not a bad shot through the fence there. You can see that looks pretty decent. There's another one at 500 millimeters. We're at 1 800th of a second. And again, this is at 200 millimeters. You can see we can clean that up quite a bit with the clarity. I don't go too far on there, but you can see what you can do there. It still is a lot of artifacts from the fence, but uh, this one's at 270. And here again, 500 millimeters. And let's just do a quick bump and show you how sharp we can just quickly adjust this to the um, to see how how much we can clean that up through the fence. It's looking pretty good already right there just with some quick contrast blacks and clarity adjustments in Lightroom here. We're in with the Gorillas now with the Silverbacks and we're going to try and get some shots, see how close we can get with the various lenses and stuff we've got and uh, also the lighting's challenging because we're backlit in here. Maybe try a little bit of flash too. Let's see what we can get. Over to the Western Lowland Gorillas. These are pretty much straight out of camera most of these. Uh, it's the little one with mom. And that was actually, go back here, that's at 240, 120th of a second. So, looking good. Um, I like this shot, just of the head peeking up over the uh, embankment there. That's at 500, 130th of a second, f5.6. 290, 130th of a second, the little one with her mom again. There's some movement in this shot, because we're at 120th of a second, but the face is still pretty tight. I like this shot little one holding on to mom. The eyes are pretty solid, pretty sharp on this shot at 360. This one again is at 500 millimeters and uh, 1 15th of a second. And you can see, let's see if we can pull that up. The uh, magnified like that, you can see that the, the, uh, the eyes are fairly um, not as sharp as you might like, but at viewing distance, it doesn't look bad. This one's nice and sharp. This is 1 20th of a second. The eyes look good there. 500 millimeters. 500 millimeters, another 1 20th of a second. Bit of motion in the movement, but the, the face is not bad. 1 25th of a second, 500 millimeters. Performance of this lens is excellent. Um, really, this is a great lens for the price to give you this type of reach. Um, just really nicely performing lens. Another one at 500 millimeters. This is 1 20th of a second. Nice and sharp in the fur and the eyes and the face there. I love this shot. It's the thinker. Looks like he's posing to be that classic thinker look. 1 20th of a second, 500 millimeters. Another nice close up on the face, 500 millimeters, 1 25th, 1 25th of a second. Similar shot, just a little bit different framing, 1 20th of a second at 500 millimeters. You can see the eyes here. We're back a little, little off the off the, the fur, but you can see the face is pretty pretty detailed. This is 1 25th of a second, 500 millimeters. Oh, went past that one there. You can see uh, well, he's, he's eating here, the food in his hand. And uh, we're at 1 60th of a second, 500 millimeters, really decent. Another one at 500 millimeters. Now this is the little one climbing. We can boost the exposure here, boost some shadow highlights. You can actually pull a lot out of that. And that's the, the advantage of the power file from the D610. It has a very lovely image quality. So that we're able to pull that right out of there. And here we've got one. You can see this is the big guy. You can see that big crest on the head. What a magnificent animal. This is at 340 millimeters, 1 80th of a second. There's 
this this previous one you could see you could see the uh, the glass wall there that I'm shooting you could see it shows up in this next one I've got the camera higher and you don't notice it this is a great shot I love this shot and we can pull up this quite easily recover a lot of um, a lot of detail in there and I really like that shot 300 millimeters 1 80th of a second kind of just sitting there relaxed our one arm down legs crossed little guy climbing the wall there 1 80th of a second 340 millimeters you can see the face of the little guy here let me see if I can pull this up I can't remember if I, I might have been firing the flash at this point because I did pull out some with the flash you can see we could work on this I'm not going to spend a lot of time right now but you could pull out a lot of detail and bring up that shot even though we've got the glass area showing down here now this one definitely the flash is on this is 240 180th of a second uh, we can we can do some work on that to recover the look of the flash you can see here we can pull down and get away from that flashed look but it allowed indoors for some longer uh, focal length to get um, a decent shot I was just playing with the flash to see and it works very well here we have 500 millimeters this is with flash again Another at 500 millimeters, 1 80th of a second. Another at 500. 